The purpose of this video is to go over your independent reading project for nature writing and explain exactly what it is you are going to be doing. First, the project itself is a flip book, you know, where you have the different pages and you keep opening them up and there's something different. It's not a flip book like, like the stop motion animation, but it is something that if we were to put it to, if we were to actually physically put this together, you'd staple it and then each paper underneath one would be longer and longer and longer. So here is kind of what you are looking at. Um, in Google Classroom, this assignment has already been posted to you and you each have your own individual template. And down here on the side are all of the different pages that you will need to complete for this project. They are already sized out the correct way. You don't need to change anything up. You are just going to start typing in your things and adding in your images and however creative you want to get with this. All of those template pages are here. So what's going to go into this flipbook? First is a cover. You are going to design your own cover for this book. Whatever book that you read, you need to include the title and the author, but the artwork, you get to make up your own. You don't necessarily need to draw your own unless you want to. You can find your own image, but you need to make sure that you come up with your own idea. Don't just steal another publisher's idea. The next page in the flipbook is going to be your rating and recommendation. You've read the whole thing, so give your book a rating. One to five stars, one meaning, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this, and five is like you would recommend it to everybody and shout it from the rooftops. After you've rated it the one to five stars, in a solid paragraph, I want you to explain why you gave that book that rating. The next page is a reflection. This is talking about uh, dystopia specifically, but this is, um, it, it could be about nature, it can be about kind of whatever reflection that you want to throw in there. If you want to challenge yourself and go ahead and do a reflection about how the book reflects our own society, go for it. I don't know what book you chose to read, so you could have a really good idea from this. This particular side you, can be used, pause, rewind, freeze. Okay, you can write this out or you can choose to just use images. It does not have to be words unless you want it to be. However, whichever way you want to go, make sure that you are actually getting your point across. If you just randomly have a picture of a stick man, I'm probably not going to get it. The next section, and as you can tell as you go on this, it gets more and more complicated because the pages in the flipbook are getting bigger. This one's about characterization. Pick an important character from your book. Describe what they physically look like, personality traits, and then think about Instagram and Twitter. Now for this, I'm pretty open. If there is something that you want to do differently than Instagram and Twitter, like you want to make a TikTok, great. You know, since this is mostly digital, you can input a link or do all sorts of things. However, just make sure that whatever is done is appropriate and you can always check with me if you have questions on different options on some of these things. If you are reading a book that doesn't really have a character, let me know because I have an alternative for this particular section if that works for you. The next section is, whoops, I did not mean to do that, is question and answers. I want you to be the teacher for that particular moment. Write out two meaningful questions, ones that actually require some deep thinking and some evidence from the book. What color was the curtains on page 32 is not what I am looking for here. I want opinion-based questions. I want argument-based questions. I want ones that would work in a Socratic seminar. That is the type of thing that I am looking for here. Write two questions, answer two questions. And then finally, the last section is quotes and analysis. I want you to find three important quotes from your book. Remember, quotes do not actually have to have quotation marks around them. It does not have to be something somebody said. A quote is anything in the text, any book, any words on the page that counts as a quote. 
But I want you to find important ones, not just random things that somebody's saying because you have to get this done. In write out the quote, include a page number, and then explain why these quotes are important. Because if you're just picking out a random thing and you can't really fully explain to me why that quote's important, you should probably pick another quote. And then finally, the last criteria that I'm going to be looking for as far as grading is how it looks overall. Is it neat? Is it organized? Or is it randomly all the default font and you spent exactly three seconds doing it? Um, I'm going to be able to tell, especially since these are digital and Google saves everything. So here we go. That is your adventure writing independent reading flipbook. Let me know if you have any questions. The template should be attached as well.